They've had jerk chicken, they've had jerk pork, they've had jello fries. It's been phenomenal. Hey, you like you can't hear me. <laughs> so I will see you guys on Saturday. camera is going to capture this amazing moment okay and i wish you were here unfortunately you're not but you can capture it from a glimpse okay we're going to give you snippets we're going to give you views we're going to give you food we're going to give you energy and lastly we're going to give you the most incredible fire night experience yeah let me just halt your expectations right there because unfortunately this did not happen british weather really said i'm going to give you rain so i was inside when everything started happening sorry guys you will ever experience in your life so come along and let's go so comfortable and no one seems to hold me like you don't Every word just comes out right when I'm with you, with you. I feel so lucky I met you. Funcho, why do you look at the camera like that? Huh? Are, are we beefy? I beef no. with cameras. Off Joanna. <laughs> he does. I've noticed because Give Joanna hardly has you in videos. Yeah, no, I mean, let me just. Uh... But now I'm up in your face. Anyways, I know you will edit Bear me. You will do the sensible thing and edit me out. <laughs> Unfortunately for Funcha, sometimes I can't be bothered to edit. So prepare to see his face a lot more. <laughs> What's about to happen? Jo? No, it's not really. Okay, so listen. Listen to me very carefully. This is the current situation. We are ready to kickstart the fireworks. Okay? Everyone's had food, they've had jerk chicken, they've had jerk pork, they've had jello fries. It's been phenomenal. Fascinating, incredible, and now everyone's coming up with their hot chocolates, which I'm sure you'll see. And we are about to set this place on fire, and we can't wait to show you guys every ounce and every magical moment. So maybe next year you might come along in the physical. Woo! See you later. Bye. Don't touch this oh, is it bit. Even when it goes out, it's boiling off. Just keep your hands on the metal bit at the bottom. Wait, it's really oh, top it yeah, so it's not lit yet. Can you use, can use her one? Yeah, I can use her one to light my one. Yeah, oh, they look like it. Yeah. Touch my one now. Who's next? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's nice. Go on, one. Is it not bad? It's a headroom. It's a
good morning my beauts good morning it is sunday i feel like i haven't spoken to you <laughs> i definitely haven't spoken to you properly and yesterday we had fireworks night at our good friends funsho and joe's house and i definitely never spoke because joe is a natural in front of the camera so i know when joe's around i don't need to speak and she did that yesterday she spoke and i was like yeah i'm free eric and i went and enjoyed did you enjoy yourself yesterday yeah so we went to enjoy ourselves yesterday and now we're off to church so i'll probably speak to you after church church is done guess he's begging for me to take their picture i'm waiting for you it's cold so that's gonna stop soon because i'm going straight to the car It's always all right. It's never great. So you want more? Yeah. Shout out to Mary. She made my hot chocolate. Banging. I needed. Mm. And then I also have a donut. So I have some guys. I'm hungry. Let's go home so I can eat. Are you gonna eat? It's food. It's plenty of food. I'm in King's Cross again this week. I have an event. Not an event, a workshop. So, bought tickets, me and Adiola I've only just arrived because it took forever to get here. But we are at, we're at Samsung. The Samsung building. Oh, is that the stage? So draftable, it's worth noting down if you look at contracts. Draftable is a really great um, website. So I think it's draftable.com, I think. But if you Google it, I'm sure it'll come up. That basically like show you can um, compare two different documents and see what's been changed. So if you ask people to make amends on contracts, you can put them both in and see if they've actually made the amends rather than having to read through the whole contract again and check every single thing. It's the most helpful thing ever and saves so much time. Always have a signed contract in place before starting anything. Don't shoot stuff, don't, don't do anything until a contract is signed and make sure it's signed by both parties, you've signed it and the brand or agency signed it because you're not really legally locked into anything if you don't do that. If you create a bunch of content and they decide to pull out, you, they don't have to pay you realistically. Um, and then don't forget, forget to check the timelines and the brief before signing. It's really important to have those things before signing because you can potentially lock yourself into something and then you see the brief and you hate it, it doesn't work for you, you don't want to post that. The importance of saying no. I would say arguably, it's the most important word you can use when you're doing negotiations and when you're doing brand campaigns. How do you then avoid being priced out? I guess like saying that be too high and like, oh, we'll, we'll just go with someone else. Yeah, I think to be honest, I think like our, all of our creative rates are, are good rates um, and it's very rare that someone will just stop respond, like not respond to me after I've sent the rate. What I would always say is try to keep it open. So when I send rates over, I'll say, oh, we're always happy to discuss. So just so they're aware that you can come back and you can let me know, actually, you've already got X amount of money. But don't be worried too much about being priced out because generally people are, are happy to talk to you. Obviously, there's competition. There's other people that might accept lower fees. But hopefully, with more education, people will stop doing that and everyone will be charging a good fee and you won't be getting priced out. So what do you do if a brand has broken their usage or usage Terms. Yeah, it's a tricky one. I think generally what I do, if, there's, if a brand is using, some brands use your content without you even asking you, they'll like secretly tag them in a thing and then just start using it because they don't, um, they don't 
two feather coming to realise that maybe they don't realise that they're meant to be paying or asking for your permission. If that happens, I would say the first thing to do is email the brand and say, look, we've gone over the time, I'd appreciate you to take that down immediately. Adriella in the house. Hey, let me breathe with this thing. Wave at them. Hi. How did you find the event? Um, yeah, it was really good. Was you really need to speak good. to the camera. Let them know. Oh. She said it was right really now. good. <laughs> she said it was really good. <laughs> She's retired because she was tired. So yeah, it was good. Learned a lot. What did you learn? Perpetuity. I knew that already. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but the space is cute. The space is lovely. I'm not saying. Did you take tube? No. You took Uber. Anyway, you have money to spend. Just finished the shift contracts workshop. It was really good. They touched upon key words you should look out for when reading over contracts, the do's and don'ts of contracts. This is all to do with the content creation space, by the way. I've previously worked with brands and, you know, I've had cont contract questions and the founder of Shift, Chloe, has always been so helpful. So whenever she has events or anything, I try and support her. And I also gain from it too, I learn some things. It was my first time in the Samsung building that building's cool. I need to check whether you're allowed to just walk in there because they have a lot of gadgets that I really wanted to try. But at the same time, I was like, I'm here for an event. I need to get all the answers and ask all the questions I can ask and make all the connections I can make. Oh, that's a point. I think I told you in my last video, networking is not my strong point, but I'm really trying to come out of my shell. So today I did actually speak to a guy from an agency about potentially working with him in the future so i'm trying i'm pushing the boat out i'm trying to get myself out there still quite shy still hate networking but baby steps i've come a long way before i wouldn't even i'd have just left immediately the event had finished but today i actually stayed and talked to two people i'm proud of myself shout out to adiola she came she got some things from it too time to go home because i'm tired it's Monday, this will work for the rest of the week. I'll probably pick the camera back up on Saturday because Eric and I are going to visit Belle. It's been a while since we saw Belle. So I might um, bring the camera with me on our journey. But thanks for watching today's video. Don't know if you really gained anything from it, but I guess some of the content might have you thinking when you're looking at contracts for anything. But yeah, I don't know, but catch you in a bit. You know, I'm back home now and I literally wanna unbox my bag of goodies from the workshop. It came in this tote. It's got shift written across the front. Shift is S-H-F-T by the way. Inside we have the following activated chips and the Chipotle and lime. The second one is this Tony's Chocolonely little bits. Remind me of Maltesers. And then we've got a punchy blood orange bitters and cardamom, lightly sparkling with vitamin D. Never heard of this drink before. So that was my bag. They also had vegan bags available, but I'm not a vegan, so I didn't get that one. Like I said, good event, learned a lot, and it was worth my time. The tickets were 20 quid. I got mine for half price because I saw a discount code and the early bird tickets were £15. I missed out on that because I wasn't sure if I was going to go. Yeah, I'm glad I went. They definitely had us in mind with this bag because the event was 6 to 9. So I'm sure they were thinking people are coming from work. Let's fill them up with some snacks and some drink and they should be good before they get home. I've got so many bags I've collected this year, honestly. 
anyway i am about to jump in the shower and go to bed because i am tired so i will see you guys on saturday all right bye then find the fit fit vr is that you want to take your jacket off Hey, you like you can't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> so if you hold on to the... Yeah, yeah, that's the yeah. okay. I think you're holding it around me. How do you hold it to the top? Like it's right there. Then you use that to select. Is it showing? Yeah. So have you pressed create brand, new boundary? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then you touch the floor. No, touch the floor with your hand. Then you now circle around the area you want. She has to make a big circle. Yeah, I think you know. It's alright. No, <laughs> what you did, you done is small. I can see. Say we do. So do a circle like then. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you might be tempted to walk. <laughs> I'm seeing some places. <laughs> We're at Bell's house, yeah. Eric is about to play VR. So please come this way so you don't punch us in the eyes. <laughs> you have to look up. Look for <laughs> It's coming, punch. So your right hand is your is yellow. Left is blue. Yeah. Uh -huh. That thing you're ducking, what if it cuts off your head? <laughs> <laughs> Like when I do it real power for like an hour, let me do it when I wish I did it. But you said you're tired. Yeah. <laughs> so you can't do half an hour, babe. <laughs> you can come sit here and watch it and, and see what we're doing. Yeah, Mary. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh uh. <laughs> you you're dancing, man. Eh? <laughs> That's why I like it feels like you're boring. That's it for this week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. I love you guys. Bye. Yesterday, Eric and I went to see my good, good friend Belle. I haven't seen her in ages. Three, two, one.